Components V2 is here. Let's see what it's all about. All right, Discord is actually adding something good to the platform. I know, crazy times. Components really open up new opportunities and really let us do things that we could never do with embeds before. All right, so the way we're going to check out components today is we're going to go to Disco Hook, as you can see here. Components V2 is not a Disco Hook thing, but basically, if you don't know what Disco Hook is, it's essentially a webhook based embed builder. They're basically kind of advanced, stylish ways of sending messages. Now, what I'm actually doing here is I'm not on the Disco Hook website itself. Disco Hook doesn't actually support components at the moment. So, what I'm doing is I'm using this link here, which is basically a beta for Disco Hook components. Disco Hook is currently working on them. Basically, if you go to this link here that I'll put in the description, you can come to the beta testing for Components V2 on Disco Hook. There is a warning up here. It says you're currently using an open beta for Disco Hook's Components V2 support. We'll find out together what that all means. So the way we can access these through this link is going to add, and you'll probably recognize that these are brand new right here. So first we've got content, then we've got container, media gallery, file, separator, and row. Now, separator is something I'm quite excited about. It's a very small thing, but there are a lot like dividers that we like to do on this channel. So I'll show you those in a bit. First, we'll start with content. So let's click content. Um, basically, this is just regular text. At least that's how it looks here. So I'm actually going to set up a webhook really quickly so I can actually send this to my server. Here we go. It's literally just regular text. But don't worry, that's not the extent of this feature. There is actually new stuff. But yeah, just starting off, that's just regular text. Before we actually add another component, we've actually got this option here, accessory, add accessory. We get three options. By the way, if you actually go to this page that I'm looking at, it might have different options. Obviously, this is in beta, but at the moment, we've got these three options. So the first one is button. I'll go through this quickly because a lot of us know what buttons are. Let's just type information. And let's click out of there. Now, it seems to have put this on the right. I don't know if this is actually how it's supposed to look. So let's send that. Oh yeah, sure enough, actually, it's put the button on the right. Now, if you're familiar with buttons, then you'll know that these actually usually go below the message. So this is quite curious, actually. I didn't know this until now. Looks like I'm not able to add another button, which is weird. Now, before I actually wrap up here, there's this button over here, which says add text. Basically, it just lets us do another one. Doesn't let you add another accessory though, so that's interesting. All right, I just removed that button because we've actually got two more accessories to go over. First one is link button. Basically, that's the same thing, except this button, when you click it, it will take you somewhere. So, yeah, not much to say there. But next up, we've got this option called thumbnail, which basically is just a picture. So if I add a picture really quick, we can actually put a description. So I'm going to put server logo, and it seems we can only add one at the moment. Again, that might change, but let's just send that to see what it looks like. And there we go. It put it actually beside the message rather than below it, because if I was to send a regular message and put the image, it'll put it below and it'll make it massive. So yeah, that does look quite a bit different. Yeah, not really the most interesting stuff so far, but we'll get onto more interesting stuff in a minute. We're actually done with the content component, so let's get rid of that. If you go to add again, the next one is container. Now this will be similar to embeds in the sense that we've got the sidebar color over here. Now inside this container, we can add another component or whatever it's called. So we can add some text. So hello, welcome to the server. Let's just keep putting that. Okay, so it seems like this is just an embed. So perhaps Discord is going to rename embeds to containers. I'm not sure. And we'll get the option to add accessories again. So we can add a thumbnail. This will just be like an embed thumbnail that we can do already. Except this time we can actually add it right here, which is good. Rather than having to upload the image somewhere, copying the link and then pasting it here. But that's probably just a disco hook thing, not a Discord thing. Yeah, so that's basically just an embed. But now it's called container. So let's remove the container here. In fact, actually, before we do that, we can add these other options here, but I'll go over these separately. And next up, we've got media gallery. So let's select that. Inappropriate size for gallery. Well, thank you. Let's actually add something here. I'll just add the logo again. Okay, this just looks like a regular message. Yeah, just like if I uploaded a picture right here. Same thing, basically, just done by a bot. You can add multiple of these if we want. I've only got one image, so let's do three of those. Yeah, so not much to say there, just like when you upload a regular message. In fact, actually, let's see what the description looks like, so I'm not sure what that does. You can mark this as a spoiler. So yeah, nothing special here. Stuff we'll probably all be familiar with. So let's move on from Media Gallery. Next one is File. What we can do is add a file, obviously. So let's upload this, banner.png. Now this does look quite a bit different to what we used to. If we actually send this. Quite slow today. 
Request entity too large. Okay, well, I don't know why you're telling me that. Let's try a different file. Let me get the smallest picture I can. All right, one kilobyte. That should be fine. Please don't let me down there. Okay, well, I guess I can't show that off, but it will probably just look like this right here. It pretty much just looks like when you add a file that isn't supported, it just looks a tiny bit different. So yeah, not really anything to say there. Let's do separator next. Seems like I need to do a bit of text first. Welcome to the server. Let's add another text down here, or content, whatever. Nothing out of the ordinary yet, but what we can do is if we go to add, add a separator, I'll quickly move this up. As you can see, it might be hard to see actually. It's basically, you just put a separator here. Now, if you've been around this channel for a while, you might be familiar with dividers. Basically, this just separates text like this, which is something we always do with emojis. So basically, we use one line emoji here and we'll put a bunch of them in a row, which will create a whole line like this. The only downside is if you fill the whole embed up with these, when you then look at the same message on mobile, basically because a phone screen is smaller, what will happen is the embed will actually be quite a bit thinner, which will basically make it so the embeds will spill onto different lines, which is not really a good look. So that was really the downside to dividers, but it seems like we can actually do dividers right here built in. They're just called separators. In fact, actually what it says here is divider line is checked. So if we uncheck that, it will remove it. So if I remove that, you can see the separator does actually add a bit of spacing. So a separator adds spacing, but the divider line will make it visual. It's pretty cool. And we get two options, small and large. That will change the amount of space we can see. So that's something you could do with invisible emojis, but it looks like you can do it right here without the use of those, which is pretty nice. Obviously, these aren't really as good as dividers in the sense that you can't customize them that much. With dividers, as you can see, you can have them be any color you want, which is pretty nice. But I definitely do like this addition. I think it's about time Discord added these. Now, the final one we have is row. If we add that, if you've ever used components on Disco Hook before, then you'll be familiar with these options. So I guess that's what components used to be. They used to be just these options right here, at least on Disco Hook. But Components V2 gives us access to all the like files, media gallery, and separators that we just saw. But yeah, I won't go over these right here, but basically you can just set up a select menu like this. Good for a South Rolls channel. Two weeks later. All right, so I've just spent some time playing around with these components to see really what the potential of this feature is. This is essentially my first attempt with components, actually making something to put something together. I did spend quite a bit of time on this. And you have no idea how much time I spent on this image, but we won't talk about that. We'll go feature by feature. So the first thing we got here is we've got a header, which has nothing to do with components at all. This is basically an image that I made. I typically use these with embeds, and this is very similar. And what I did with that, if I actually hide these, I uploaded a header and the way I did that was I went to add and I added a media gallery. And when you do that, you can literally just add one image. And I actually put that outside of the container, the container being this big gray thing here. That's got everything inside it, but the header is actually outside of it. You could even put the header inside the component or inside the container, I should say. Now, next up, we've just got a heading. So this is just regular text. But I actually forgot to mention before that, what I did is I actually added a separator. You can't see it. It's not using the divider line, but if I enable the divider line, you might be able to see it right here. Basically, I did that just so the text is spaced a bit from the top. I think it looks a bit better that way. So you can get the kind of structure that you want. I could have made this a large, that would have more space. Just went with the small. Basically, what I did here is all this text here. I put this inside a text component. And then next up, I put a separator. So this right here is actually using separators. I used two smalls. I don't know why I did that. I could have just done one large, but whatever. No divider line enabled. I'll show you a component made with dividers in a bit. I don't think this one really needs it because it's got these headers here. And sure enough, next up is another gallery, which is the header. So this is just a custom image. I always wanted to do something like this, but you were never really able to because when it came to embeds, you couldn't put images anywhere, which was a shame. You can only put it at the bottom of an embed or at the top right as a small thumbnail. And next up after the header is a text or a content component is called and just put a quick description. And what I did here was I just used a custom animated emoji. And next up, I've got a section. I'm not actually sure why it says section. It's just another text field telling you to follow the community guidelines. And what I actually did here was I wanted to use a button. So I went ahead and added an accessory in this text field, which says guidelines and it takes you to well, the wrong website, but you get the point. So this basically takes you to the guidelines, which is right next to the text telling you to do so, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, you can't put buttons under text for some reason, because if I get rid of all this, it still puts it on the right, which I think is a bit weird, but that's just how it works, unfortunately. But next up, what I did is I added another separator or two, in fact. Again, I don't know why I made them both small. I could have just done a large. Perhaps this was more specific. I don't know.
And after that, got another gallery with another header, same as before, more text, another separator to separate the gallery here from the text a bit. Now, the next media gallery, this is actually using the gallery to its full potential rather than just using a single image. I've actually put multiple here and moving down from here from these four images, these are all in this gallery. In fact, you can actually add more than four, which is interesting. I didn't know that. It kind of messes up the layout a bit. I wish you had more control over the gallery because I might want an image here, an image here, and then a long image below it. So just three images, but it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. It's still kind of a fixed layout, but it's much more flexible than before, which is great. And getting to the end here, we've got another header. As you can see, one more gallery with a header in it. And below that, some more text with some custom emojis in it. Now, what I actually wanted to do here was this section says you can use the form below. Basically, what I wanted to do was upload a form using the file component. Unfortunately, it wouldn't work for some reason. It throws me an error. This is basically what I was kind of going for. This is what it would look like. I've tried multiple file types, but nothing works, which is unfortunate. So other than that, everything is working as expected, it seems. Now, moving on from this component, I actually made it another one. Very similar, but I just used dividers here instead of headers, as you can see. And these dividers are, of course, made with the separators. When I use a divider separator, I actually put a small separator above and below it, just to really give it a bit of spacing, because I find just using a separator on its own with the divider, even if you set to large, just isn't really enough spacing, in my opinion. Yeah, so instead of using headers here, I just use dividers. All right, I was just looking to see if galleries actually work on mobile instead of just the first image showing up like it used to do with embeds. And um, I don't know what that is going on here. For some reason, the header is right here. And for some reason, you might be able to see it off to the right. There's actually a bit of gray. Now, if I scroll over, for some reason, the component is all the way over here, which is just very weird. I can't actually scroll all the way over for some reason. If you send them in separate messages, that will probably be fine, actually. Oh, that's right. I don't think it's actually possible at the moment because disk hook is in beta at the moment for components. So you can't do that either. I suppose what you can do is upload an image somewhere like an image hosting site and then paste a link in this content field, which will show up the header. It won't show the link or anything. So don't worry about that. But what you can do then is move the message up above the one with the container in. In fact, I'll try this out quickly. I'm just going to do the old upload to discord. I wouldn't recommend you do this, but if I do that, Okay, so as you can see, it's done the same thing. Put the header and then the container. If I look on mobile now, yeah. Okay, so that's how you could work around that bug at the moment. Instead of putting the header inside a gallery above the container, put the header in a separate message to the container and that will fix it. Now looking on mobile, as you can see, the emojis are broken. Don't worry about that. I'm posting to the wrong server, but let's ignore that. And there we go. We got the gallery and we can actually see all four images, which is great. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. We've got an embed right here, not a container. They look very similar, I know. We've got an embed and we've got a gallery. Previously, when you had multiple large images, which was something you could always do in Disco Hook, you would see all the four images on desktop, but on mobile, you would only see the first one. Let's quickly go over the benefits of components, because there's actually quite a few of them. All right, first up, let's focus on thumbnails. I briefly mentioned them earlier, but basically when you have a text field, what you could do is add accessory, and add a thumbnail. As you can see, I've got a thumbnail up here, and this was something you could always do in embeds. It will put the image at the top right, but the way embed thumbnails will work is if you add one, the whole embed would be made narrower, which is not good. And then if you go and look at the same embed on mobile, it would be very narrow. It would basically restrict the width of everything in the embed. This is no longer the case. And another benefit is if I go into another text field, I'll go in this one down here, I can add another thumbnail. So you can actually have multiple thumbnails now, which is not what you can do before. So embed thumbnails are now free form. Basically, it just means you can put them anywhere in the embed as long as you've got a text field. Now, unless this gets updated at the moment, you can only have one accessory, at least on disc or hook. Now, next up, let's focus on the gallery. Now, this is a very good one. So basically, this replaces the large image from embeds, which you could only put at the bottom of the embed, which was always a disappointment. But now you can actually put images in the embed anywhere you want and you can actually put multiple. Now, as for buttons, Previously, when it came to embeds, you would only be able to put them below the embed, but now you can actually put buttons anywhere and you can put them in the embed. You can still put buttons below. If I actually put this outside of the container, you can add a row and then you can add a component and add a button right here. You can do a bunch of different things. You can do select menus. Now, one thing I noticed with components is while I have some stuff that embeds don't, embeds also have some stuff that components don't. So basically what I'm saying is, at least at the moment, because again, this is in beta, Going by what I can see here, you can't add stuff like if I actually open an embed, you could add stuff like author, fields, and then footer, but you're not actually able to do that in containers. 
so that's a bit disappointing, perhaps that will change, I'm not sure. But those three features that I mentioned were quite optional, really. I don't think they were ever really essential. I think the pros outweigh the cons here. Oh, and something I almost forgot to mention is when you make a container, as I went over earlier, you can add a sidebar colour. So I could add a blue like this, just like you could with embeds. It looks the same, pretty much. But when you click reset here, you can actually remove the colour. As you can see, if you look at the structure of the container, when I click reset, everything will actually shift. So it's not just hiding it, it's actually removing it. Now with embeds, if I just go and add something quickly, you can see there's already a sidebar colour before I've even added one. So you could actually not remove embed colours, sidebar colour, you could never remove that with embeds. And that seems to still be the case. Maybe Discord will make that possible, who knows. So yeah, pretty awesome stuff all around. So that's it for my first look at components. Hope you enjoy this video and let me know below, will you be using components or will you be sticking with embeds? Let me know your thoughts down below. Just want to mention quickly, if you're wondering why I haven't uploaded in half a year, technically it's been nine months now, that's actually crazy. Basically I'm working on something very big at the moment, but that's all I can really say at the moment. Keep on the lookout, I'll just say that.